What would it be like to grow up in a tiny fishing village on the coast of Nicaragua? And come here, to the heart of New York City in the dead of winter. <laughs> no, no, wait, 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 wait. Zero. <laughs> it is freezing cold out here, and we're about to meet up with our friend later to show him something that he's never seen before, New York City in the middle of the winter. Man, it's cold. It's so cold. <laughs> Welcome to New York, dude. Hey. Thank you. We met later in a small village in Nicaragua where it is always hot. Here, the primary industry is fishing. Most people live below the poverty line, few people graduate past the sixth grade, and most people can't even write their own names. Boys grow up to be fishermen, and girls grow up to be mothers. But when we interviewed later down there, we knew he was destined to change that. I wanna go to university and come, come to my community, and I want to, to make an impact, you know, like, make change. I want to be the Nicaraguan president someday. Simply being in New York means Later is on his way to do amazing things, and we're gonna tell you a lot more about that, but first... <laughs> it's gonna be painful. All right. I don't wanna do this. <laughs> ah! No, it's so... <laughs> oh boy. No! <laughs> you can do it later. <laughs> no, no, wait, wait, wait. I'm just gonna be close to the wall. <laughs> Okay, I'm just, we're just going from zero to... <laughs> <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> this is the coldest day of Later's life, and he's spending most of it on his ass. Oh! Are you okay, buddy? I've only been here two minutes, I've seen him on the floor four times. <laughs> Later's in the U.S. because he dreamed big and worked hard. I didn't see myself as a fisherman. I didn't see myself as a bus driver. I didn't see myself as a, as a farmer. And, and I always strive for, you know, like, I want to be something else. So the first place to start was learning English. So I would go to the capital, uh, to an English school, every Saturday. I would commute like four hours each way. And I would wake up at 5 in the morning, take the first bus, go to Manawa. And guess what? He got a scholarship that brought him to study at John Brown University in Arkansas. I'm the first, uh, first one from my town, from El Transito, to come to a American university. What, are you, what is your feeling right now? Excited because I want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting it. You're getting it. You're getting yeah. it. I'm getting it. The optimism is infectious from this one. You're never going to give up later. I'm not going to fall this time. <laughs> it's all in the name of having an impact. One of the conditions of the scholarship is that later has to go back to Nicaragua after college to bring home everything he's learned. There is a group of 30 students in first grade. When they end elementary school, there are only 12. When they are in in the last year of high school, there are only like five. I bring all these new ideas and all these new things and tell them all that, you know, like, there's a whole new world outside. It's not just a transit. It's, it's not just fishing. Yeah, it's not just fishing. It's not, it's not just farmers. It's not just bus driver. It's a whole new world full of opportunities. Nice job later. I did it. <laughs> Damn, it's cold. <laughs> I'm later and I'm going to be the future president of Nicaragua. Rally on! Yeah, nice. <laughs> <laughs>